And we are back with more What's Now. Cold weather is upon us. It's just going to get colder. So what do you need to know about this upcoming cold and flu season, especially in regards with COVID-19 Delta variants? That is still here. Well, I recently spoke with Dr. Ian Smith all about what we can do to stay healthy. Let's take a look. As influenza activity begins to increase in October, now is the time to know how to navigate this cold and flu season. Joining us to discuss how to relieve cold, cough, and chest congestion symptoms is New York Times bestselling author, Dr. Ian Smith. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Christine. Dr. Smith, what should we expect from this upcoming flu and cold season, especially as much of the country is still dealing with COVID-19 infections? Well, it's interesting, Christine. Last year was a really mild cold and flu season. In fact, some of the lowest number of cases on record for a long time. And that's because all of the preventive measures we were putting in place to prevent the spread of COVID actually work against all viruses. So wearing a mask, washing your hands frequently, sanitizing surfaces, practicing social distance, all those things were critical, not just for the pandemic relief, but also for preventing cold and flu. This year, we'll see what happens. Uh, there may be an uptick. Uh, we know that restrictions have loosened unevenly across the country. People are not wearing masks as well as they should or how they should. Uh, so we may see an increase, unfortunately. But we want to encourage people to still wear your mask, particularly in confined areas and close contact. Make sure you are keeping that distance as best as possible and washing. I can't overemphasize washing your hands in public surfaces where these bugs like to live and remain is critical to preventing an uptick this, this season. How can over-the-counter remedies help in relieving cold cough and chest congestion? Well, over-the-counter remedies, they don't actually cure the viruses that can cause the cold or the flu or COVID, um, but they can treat the symptoms. Uh, they can even treat some of the symptoms uh, of the COVID-19 symptoms. Um, so it's critical that people have something in their house so that they're ready in the event that they find themselves struck with the cold or the flu. In my house, we use the Mucinex 12-hour line, Mucinex DM and the Mucinex extended release tablets. The DM is very good because it's an anti-tussive. And so it prevents cough or relieves cough. So, you know, 12 hours of wet and dry cough relief. It also can help with congestion. The tablets are great because they contain something called guaifenesin. And guaifenesin is important for loosening and thinning that mucus that causes chest congestion. And how can we make sure we're using everything properly? Well, you know, just like prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, the instructions are there for a reason, and people need to follow the instructions. Don't start self-dosing. Don't, you know, take half of it or double and whatever you think is going to work because you want to kind of accelerate the results, follow it as written. Uh, if your symptoms pers persist for about, about 48 to 72 hours, you want to check with your doctor or healthcare practitioner just to make sure that nothing else is going on. And do you have any tips on how we can make sure that self-care is a top priority? Oh, absolutely. First of all is exercise. So you want to exercise, whether it's strength training, walking, riding a bicycle, running, even doing yoga. Great for the mind, great for the body. It's also great for your immune system. Number two is nutrition. Uh, and I write about this all the time. My most recent book, Fast Burn, teaches you how to burn fat, but also build that lean muscle mass that's in critical to increase your metabolism. So you want to eat more fruits and vegetables. The more colorful, the better. They contain more antioxidants, those important disease fighters. You want to eat lean protein, whether it's through fish or chicken, or you can get them in non-animal sources like chickpeas, beans, lentils, legumes. And you want to stay away from processed ingredients, uh, synthetic ingredients, refined sugars. Uh, those are not helpful. The third thing I would say is, hey, listen, you still got to practice those things that are good for hygiene. So wearing your mask uh, must continue, especially in closed and confined areas, washing surfaces, washing your hands, sneezing and coughing into your elbow and tissue. All those things will go a long way to help prevent the spread of cold and flu. And where can we get more information? Oh, uh, that's easy. You can go to mucinex.com to find out how you can stay healthy during cold and flu season. And my Instagram page has a lot of free videos and workouts and free nutrition plans. My Instagram handle is at Dr. Ian Smith. Spell the doctor out, I-A-N Smith. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Ian Smith, for joining us today. I really appreciate your recommendations on how we can stay healthy during this cold and flu season. Thanks for your time.
Thank you. It was nice talking to you.